here you go. Sepnes Trophy list at 2,400 metres all clear. Racing away from that 2,400 metre mark. Mystic Moon, Cree Lodge, got away nicely. Thanks, John is sitting towards the inside. Slip this way is moving over. Hospitality up there in the firing line. Deeper out, we got Cayman Island. Then it's Blake. He's settling about six lengths off that early leader. Posh Boy in writing. Right and ready, Golden Parachute, Sun City, Campa de Santana. And racing at the back, Spitfire Run as they go past the winning post for the first time in the Settlers Trophy. Head towards the 1900. Hospitality has found the lead. And that's where he likes to be. He goes to lead the way by two and a half lengths. Cayman Island is in second. Then it's a gap of two behind that to Mystic Moon. Thanks, John. He's sitting on the inside of Slip This Way. A length behind that comes in writing, and Blake is sitting between runners. He's easily 12 lengths off this leader, Cree Lodge. Then comes Posh Boy, right and ready. Behind that, we got Golden Parachute, Sun City, Camper de Santana, and Spitfire Runner. The two racing at the back of the field, but they stretched out down the back straight. Past the 1400 and Hospitality. He's cleared away to lead by eight lengths in the set. Trophy. Racing in second, we got Cayman Island. Slip this way, the red cap is improving, and Blake round runners in that check body is also starting to move up into the firing line. A length and a half behind that Mystic Moon, then comes Cree Lodge. Thanks, John. On the outside, Spit Fire Run is also improving position, but three deep at the thousand meter mark. In writing back at the rail, Golden Parachute right and ready. Then comes Sun City and Campo de Santana is racing at the end of the line a good 14 lengths off that leader through the middle of the bend it's hospitality in front but he only leads the way now by two and a half lengths as Blake closes that gap on him back along the inside of that one we got Cayman Island then it's Spitfire Run who's still on the move but three deep into the home straight Mystic Moon corners back of the rail between runners we got slip this way Cree Lodge up the middle right and ready racing next thanks John Golden Parachute Sun City's deeper out and then comes Posh Boy 400 meters left to go Hospitality is trying to come back at Blake along the inside. But it's Blake that's taken the lead. Sun City over the top. He's starting to reel in the leaders. In writing between runners, Posh Boy gets going. Down the inside, right and ready. Into the final 150. And Sun City has swallowed Blake up into the closing stages. In writing is flying along the inside. But Sun City comes away to win it. In writing in second, Blake third. Then came Posh Boy. And behind that, Golden Parachute. Well, a very good race for Rion van Rienens. Yard. He wins here and he runs fourth as well. Number eight, Sun City, seven-year-old son of Carl. He's the winner. And congratulations to you, Rion. Well done. Thank you, Stan. He's really turned out into a very good stayer. Yeah, I know. Uh, he, he's always been a decent horse. Uh, Dean Canham had him. And I think Dean won the Settlers Trophy with him before. Is that right? Yeah, but he had problems. He had problems. He, 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 he was plagued with problems. And all I've done is I've sent him away. And I've sent him to the farm for a rest. And... Uh, you know, when it gets to the, the going gets a bit hard, he'll go back to the farm for a rest. I know he's getting a bit older, but, you know, the stayers have no limit in the age. And um, he came back this year, no joints, nothing. You saw how many times we raced him now. Yeah. I prepped him for this race over 2,000 meters. I've given him a good prep. And every run he comes back 100% sound. And that, that to me was fantastic, you know. This is probably as fit as what you've had him? Yes, because of all the prep runs, you know, because of all the prep runs, so he's been the fittest, he's, he's, he always runs off nicely and, you know, if it, that was hospitality, went to the front and made a decent pace and therefore gave us the chance to come from about second loss and run on. If they were crawling, then we were gone, but then we still had posh point in it, so, so I wasn't happy, I wasn't uh, unhappy about that here and a good fourth as well, mm. also needed the run, uh, got a bit sick after his last run, so... Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the result. Uh, I would like to say to Mr. St uh, Keith Steinberg, Neil Pretorius, from Two Oceans Racing, uh, I think this is the first winner for Two Oceans Racing before it was just Keith Steinberg. So to all of them at Two Oceans Racing, thanks for all the support. MJ Bailefeld, uh, you know, he, he, I, I was very impressed with MJ. Uh, he actually went and got a DVD to see how this horse runs. I didn't even have to give him instructions. He knew, he, he knew what to do. So I was very impressed with that and good ride and well done. And, and thanks to Devin Ashby. He's in Durban. Devin, I know you're watching. Uh, you did a lot of hard work, boy. You deserve it too. Thanks, Devin. Well done to you, Rian. Bye-bye. MJ Bailefeld is complaining bitterly early on that he only had four or five rides on the day, but I think this will make up for it, MJ. I'm still here. Tell Devin, he must just carry on. He'll come just now. <laughs> no. MJ, um... They went a real strong pace that probably suited you. 
Yeah, I'm still here. I know this was a one race on him two years back. I know him quite well. Um, he likes to come from behind him. It's just always you worry with a big field that if they if they pull it up and you're sitting in the back and a lot of horses to pass, it's not going to work. But today we went actually ridiculously fast up front and it suited him. When I asked him, he, he gave me a good kick right to the line. How far back were you turning for him? I was sitting second last, Mr. Lee. He likes to run, run like that and bring him out for a run. Um, I thought the ground might be a little bit firm for him, but well done to all the team here. They've done a good job, and thanks very much for the ride and to my sponsor, Alvin, too. Thanks very much there. Well done to you, MJ. Good luck with the Bulls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Keith Steinberg, Two Oceans Racing, Neil Pretoria is part of that setup as well. Keith, well done. Uh, you know, I don't think there's many people that enjoy a win more than you do, and this was a super one. Thanks, Dan. All wins are great, you know. Uh, um Special win, as you say. It's um, I think the MJ and or, or Rian said that it was our first win as as partnership. Neil and I in Two Oceans Racing, which is a new setup that we've put together. We've put a whole lot of horses together into 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 this company, and uh, we intend syndicating and doing something innovative in racing in, in certainly in, in Cape Town and maybe in the rest of the country. But back to the horse, I think uh, you know. Outstanding training feat from Rion because, uh, you know, he, he's always been there. We've had a lot of seconds and uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful ride by MJ today too. And I think uh, Rion's just persevered with him and 10 out of 10 to all of them. 10 out of 10 to Devin Ashby who's done most of the work. Um, he's been there and he's uh, stalwart in our little stable and uh, thanks to him too. And of course to my partner Neil who... Doesn't need any introduction. <laughs> yeah. Malem, say a few I things. I'm sure. Word, yeah. Stan, just a quick word to the guys out there. Thanks very much. Also to Bobby Perrell. He's part owner in Sun oh, City. Don't let's forget about Bobby Perrell. He's absolutely. been there from day one. Absolutely. And uh, if you're interested in, to know what Two Oceans Racing is about, in a start of the new month, you can go on to www.twooceansracing.co.za and you'll see all about it. Thank you, Stan. <laughs> just a final question. Advertising man, eh? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Final question. How did you feel turning for home? Right? Lastly, also thanks to my mom for coming. She's a great campaigner and, you know, she comes to all the races, so she also had a great fill, but sorry, uh, back no, to I your question. I just wondered how you, how you felt when they turned for home and he was two from the back. You know, when he turned for home, funnily enough, I knew that MJ had it won because that's how he's got to be ridden. MJ's won on him before. He won the same race two years ago. He's won the Setters Trophy two years ago. He's always um, good from, from behind and uh, if you if you wait on him and wait and wait and wait in the right time, which he did, he timed it well and uh, kicked on and uh, and as you know, I mean that's that's the way he races and if he keeps we keep riding him that way, he'll keep winning, you know. And the rest is history. Don't run away, Keith. Uh, we do have a trophy for the winning connections to Oceans Racing. Brian Finch from Gold Circle will present the winner's trophy to you. Congratulations, Keith Steinberg, Neil Pretorius, and all at Two Oceans Racing. All right, we'll just finish with those photographs, and then we've got one more presentation to do, and that's to the winning groom, Lolly. He gave his name only as Lolly. Lolly, well done. Your horse looks superb, my good man, if you'll accept well your well compensation there from Brian. Congratulations. Thanks, Brian. There you go, Lolly. Thank you very much. You, there we go. All right, terrifically exciting racing run at a real strong pace. It always makes it when you have a stayers race and they go a real strong pace early. They certainly did today. Well done to Two Oceans Racing.